Hello, Clyde. Hello. Thank you for filling out our survey. We're very happy to have accepted your enrolment for our service. And your uh, lines have been highlighted in the yellow. We appreciate that the content of this sort of work is highly personal and can vary depending on your values, interests and goals. We understand it may be more condensed than you would have wished, but please understand our commitment to reach all service users within eight weeks. George and Emma will assist me in enacting your bespoke piece. Do you have any questions? No, no, I don't think so. In this world, we all have a story to tell. All of us have danced with adversity and discovered the beauty of perseverance. This work is about Clyde. Clyde, who was born in Finchley in 1953 in the aftermath of World War II, a time of rationing and change, rebuilding and hope. I want to learn, to grow, to become more than my circumstances. Look at my beautiful little boy. At school, you were reported as being very good and kind. Though it wasn't always easy, your parents didn't exactly see eye to eye with your ambition. You should become a chemical engineer. No way, Mum. I must become my own person. Against all odds, having spent some time teaching English in France, Clyde returned to the UK to do biomedicine at the University of Warwick. Here he learnt what would be the values for the rest of his life. To place yourself in the shoes of others, to look people in the eye and give a handshake with a firm grip. Each page I turn is a window to a new world, a new possibility. I'm going to make a difference. In the boom of the 80s, Clyde built a successful career as a biomedical engineer and made a particularly wise investment. Clyde bought his current home for £11,000, which is now worth £400,000. He met his companion Jane, and together they had one children. The Berlin Wall fell, the internet spread, and the world became more connected, as Clyde embraced biomedical management and consulting, yet faced a setback as legal proceedings were initiated against him to determine negligence following a defective product resulting from an insufficient risk assessment. Clyde currently seeks recourse with an appeal to establish liability, as he claims to be a scapegoat. I am not my hardships. I am how I rise above them. I supported myself through the difficult times and made a plan to move forward. The storms we weather shape us into who we're meant to become. Through twists and turns, Clyde's journey led to a discovery of inner strength. Today, Clyde's retired and spends his time watercolouring and blogging. Finally, I have the time to do the things I love and keep up with the changing world. Today, Clyde is in good health and reflects on a life filled with love, accomplishments and purpose. My life has been a journey of joy, sorrow and growth through times of upheaval and progress. I am grateful for every moment. Your story reminds us that every life is unique and precious, a tapestry of experiences that shape who we are. This is the only life Clyde could have led. All we can say of her is... The, the here, here and now. Clyde, you've self-actualised and become the best version of yourself. You've pursued passions, travelled, Develop talents and experiences that bring you joy, fulfilment and a sense of purpose. Continue learning and growing by taking on new challenges and seeking out new experiences. It, it is, is good, good and right to seek new experiences. It is good and right to pursue activities and experiences that bring you joy, fulfilment and a sense of purpose. This can help you focus on the positive aspects of your life and the impact you've had on others. Well, that's the end now, Clyde. 
you can keep a transcript and oh, here's the QR code you can scan to receive the recording. Please feel free to leave us a review. A member of our team will make contact for the next steps soon.